Hello, fellow YouTubers and Warcrafters. I'm going to show you a little program I wrote here for fishing for Warcraft. It's a real program. As you can see, I made a shit ton of gold in a very short period of time selling fish. And this video is me using this program sped up three times, so it's not completely boring to watch because fishing is boring to watch. Um, basically, the program itself is on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm currently just setting up my options and setting a stopwatch to time this because as of right now it's enabled and moving and you can see it in full function. The premise of this is the program itself looks for the bobber. Uh, it currently moves the mouse hand underneath the bobber so you can see that it's working. It's looking for a pattern in the bobber and when the pattern breaks it moves up to catch the fish or whatever the hell you catch. Um, it works pretty good. It's uh, you know easily in my garrison which is a great place to fish. I'm at about 95 percent, 90 percent success rate. Um, you know, out in the world, it's a little bit different because um, every little, every area is different that you fish in. The lighting is different. It might rain, yada, yada, yada. And that's going to affect how well it sees the bobber, the color of the bobber, the sensitivity of the bobber. So you're not going to get as accurate. To be honest, I'm fine with not 100% fish catching because if I'm sitting there for three hours at a time catching 100% fish, it's probably going to look suspicious. Actually, if I'm sitting there for three hours at a time, I'm probably suspicious anyway, but whatever. Nobody's caught on to me yet, and I've been doing this for years, so I really don't care. They ban my account, whatever. I've still got a shit ton of gold. So, uh, basically the program, quick explanation. i got a couple options there on the right-hand side. Uh, as an input box, you can tell it how many fish you want to fish. In this case, it's 5,000, just because I'm, whatever, it's going to run for 5,000 fish and then stop. Um, I've got a option there for an AFK manager which basically will automatically put your player uh, it'll keep your player logged in or you know moving so that uh, the computer thinks that you're not uh, just sitting there doing nothing because for some reason I don't know if it does it now but it used to log me out fishing when I set my program up for a long period of time so now it just kinda moves the guy or jumps or does something every once in a while to kinda keep it so I don't go AFK uh, there's a fillet option or an auto fillet option which uses the blade bone hook to automatically fillet the fish when you catch them. I don't have it enabled because it uses a lot more bag space, so in this case it's off. Um, I got do not disturb option there with a custom message you can throw in. Basically, you know, tell anybody whatever the hell you're doing. If you want to say you're illegally fishing, if you want to say you're playing Hearthstone or watching Cartoon Network, or whatever the hell you're doing in the background, that's fine. You can type in a message there and it'll automatically throw that up for you. Um, just a quick note, the top left hand corner of the screen, you can see my bag and all the stuff I'm catching, and there's a timer next to that. It's seven minutes. I'm going to pause at ten minutes because it's going to show me, the program itself is actually going to pause for a quick second, and it's going to automatically apply the sea scorpion bait, which is what I have selected, and then it's going to apply my gnat drinking hat um, buff, because I'm wearing gnat's drinking hat right now, and it's going to keep my fishing up. Um, you didn't actually see that in the beginning, and you're you're not unfortunately not going to see it get typed in, but the program automatically types all the stuff in for you because it's cut off at the bottom of the screen. Obviously, there's some personal stuff I don't want laid out, so it's cut off. But if you you'll I'm going to keep talking, and in ten minutes you'll notice there's a little bit of a pause. It's actually putting all that stuff back on again. Um, but on the right hand corner of the screen again, on the right side of the screen again, you'll see the program, the bobber enhancements again. I've got Nat's drinking hat and the sea scorpion set up to catch because I've got the bait for that. Um, when the program is looking for the bobber, there's two things it's looking for. The color of the bobber, and then after it finds the color, how sensitive does it want to be about the movement before it makes a catch? Uh, right now I'm set up for a sensitivity of 3, and a color sensitivity of 100. The current color I'm looking for is actually white. It just says bobber color, color 1, color 1's white. 2's black, 3's a whole bunch. I get all these random colors in there. Um, and basically, the color you choose for the bobber is really dependent on the background that you're fishing on. Sometimes you're fishing over really dark water, you want to search for a light color in the bobber. Sometimes you're searching, you're, you're fishing over really light color water, you want to actually look for a dark color in the bobber. Um, not only that, but in Warcraft, it's a dynamic world, so in the course of 24 hours, the sun's going to come up and set, or the moon's going to come up and set, it's going to change the lighting on the bobber. So you want to make sure that you have your sensitivity and your color sensitivity and everything set up so it's not you know, perfect at one time, but it's kind of pretty much catches most fish most of the time, especially if you're going to set this up to run for, you know, multiple six, seven, eight hours at a time, you don't want to be sitting there missing fish over and over again. Again, right now, it's not catching every single fish. It's missing every once in a while, but that's kind of on purpose because I don't want to look like a character that's catching every single fish. I'm just going to let one roll every once in a while. It's fine. Um, there's a couple of settings in the bottom there. You can load and save the different settings. So let's say you're fishing over in Negrand for some kind of fish. 
and you really like the fish over there and you got a good spot, you know, you can save it as settings too. So whenever you always go over to the ground and you want to fish there, just load up settings two and you're good. Um, I always have settings number one set as my garrison because I love fishing in my garrison. Nobody bothers me. I get a level three fishing shack. I catch enormous fish in there. Um, you know, if other players see me, it just looks like I'm in my garrison, which pretty much, unfortunately, most everybody else in Warlords of Draenor is just sitting in their garrison doing a lot of stuff right now. Oh, I don't know if you just caught that. At 15 minutes, uh, my character just jumped because that's going to try to help keep me logged in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, fishing in garrison is a great thing to do. Um, there's a button on the bottom. It says start fishing. Obviously, I already ran that. And there's a counters on the bottom. It says fishing cast, 74. Fish hooked, 72. Fish missed, 3. They're not 100%. Well, the only counter that's accurate is the fishing casts. Um, every time it casts, you know, a fish, it, or uh, every time it casts the uh, the bobber out, it keeps a count. When it thinks it catches a fish, it, it increases the hooked count. And when I say thinks, it's because, you know, the program basically just sees movement. And if it thinks it's movement for a fish getting caught, then it adds that to the fish hooked count. If it's, you know, like some random player running in front of me like right there or some other weird thing happening or the sensitivity's off and it catches something that's not really there, the hooked count goes up even to the, like right there, it missed, but the hooked count went up to 81 instead of 80. Um, I can't really do anything about that because I'm, I'm never going to be able to differentiate between if it's an actual catch or a non-catch, but I'm perfectly fine with that. It's a rough estimate, you know, it gives you a good rough estimate of like how, how accurate you are. Uh, like right now, it's completely missed three fish. So out of, what am I at, an 89 casts? Completely missing three? It's not bad. I probably missed maybe about 15 or 20 since I've been sitting here. Maybe maybe less, because it actually looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, I'm not in my favorite fishing spot. I'm just in some random spot that I don't know where I am. I don't know the settings on this. I didn't bother setting it up very well um, because I don't want to give my fishing spots away. You know, if, if smart people will know exactly where I'm standing, and I'm just standing in some random spot where I never fish because, again, I don't want to give my my spots away in the world. I got pretty secluded good spots. This isn't one of them. Um, in the course of uh, 30 minutes of fishing, which is what you're watching sped up, I managed to catch enough fish to uh, get 330 fish flesh, 110 crescent saber fish, uh, 220 sea scorpions on my server. The saberfish run about 1.2 gold each. Sea scorpions 1.9 gold. If I sell all them at the market price, I'll make about 550 gold in about 30 minutes of time, which is over a thousand gold an hour, uh, which really ain't bad, especially considering like right now. Again, this really isn't set up very well. I'm not catching a lot of stuff that's enormous. In fact, I'm catching crap fish, like awesome fish and stuff like right there. Um, I forgot to set up my uh, before I made the video, I, I forgot to put all my best fishing gear on to really increase my fishing uh, skill because I can get like over 900 or 1,000, and that really catch you all the enormous fish. Enormous fish are awesome. Uh, they load up quick, and they give you tons of flesh, and I can easily, if I'm setting up good, I can get over 1,500 uh, gold an hour in like fish stuff, um, flesh and everything like that. And not only just selling the flesh, but using the flesh to make cooking supplies and things like that that I can sell. Like buttered sturgeon, which uh, runs over, I think it's like 25 gold a plate on my server. Sleeper sushi, you know, all that, all that cooking stuff. Look it all up. It's all expensive, and you have you run this program for a couple hours at a time and over a couple different days. You have such a surplus of fish, you, you don't want to sell it all in the auction house because otherwise you're just gonna like bring up the supply. The demand's gonna still be the same, so the prices are gonna drop. You want to keep your prices high, so you know, use it to make other stuff. You know, mix it up every once in a while and and make stuff that's uh. You know, you can make stuff that you can still sell that's not just raw fish. Um, right now, I got some plans for the future for this. Um, it only runs, this program only runs on a 1080 uh, monitors uh, with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, whatever the hell that is. And that's because it's looking on certain spots on the screen for things. And when the screen size, when the screen resizes, it screws up my program with everything. It's very picky. Uh, eventually, I'm going to make a couple different versions of this, or I'm going to make it scale so it scales with different uh, window sizes. Um, and then I'm also going to add some randomization to the to things like the AFK manager and the fishing bait and things like that. Because if you know if you're putting a fish bait on exactly every 10 minutes for four hours in a row, it's going to look damn suspicious. You put one on. 10 minutes, and then 15 minutes, or 13 minutes, or you know, whatever, you randomize it up, it looks better, so you're not, you don't look as much like a bot. Um, can also do things like randomizing the do not disturb message, so there's a couple of different things I'm looking at doing. Um, what I'd like to get right now from the people that are watching this is suggestions, comments, things that you'd want to see uh, me do with this program. 
Um, I do plan on, you know, either selling it, which I know is illegal, whatever, selling it, or asking for donations for the full-fledged version. I'm probably going to make a crippled version, which I can give out to people to uh, to play with, to test. You know, it's going to have some limitations on it, but it's going to enable you to see the uh, the, the power of this uh, program. Um, fully functional, Warlords of Draenor 6.2. It's very simple. I, you know, I've been running this since uh, uh, Cataclysm. No issue. Um, here's the summary of what I caught. As you can see, there's 220 of the Sea Scorpion segments, um, 110 of the, uh, the fish, and then I got um, other stuff there uh, that I caught. That's just kind of like you know random stuff in between. So um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching this and give me some input, and uh, keep on fishing.